So we're standing on hole 16 at the fort, but we have a little time. There's a few MPOs down there practicing and you know, it's kind of like, I wanted to tell you guys about this video a little bit more. It, it is a practice round and you are seeing some teammates and some, you know, friendly competitors play. But what this really is, is we want to thank Infinite for highlighting some FPO players. How do you attack the course? What's the camaraderie like? This isn't the kind of thing we can actually just discuss on the course. Of course, we're friends, but when it comes to competition, it needs to be all about you. And we love the fact that Infinite wanted to bring some FPOs out, show what it's like to practice together, and then show what the thought process is and how we can help each other. So huge shout out to, thank, uh, to Infinite. Thank you guys and thank you Kona for just being as cool as you are to play with. Yeah, I loved it. And thank you guys so much. We really appreciate it. And thank you all for watching. I mean, we've always talked about some really important tips. And um, yeah, it, it's, it, I hope it's helpful for all of you. Okay. Hole 10, 598 feet. Off the tee, we're just trying to bomb one down there. And you, your second shot, you're trying to get through this uh, triple mando or double mando? Triple. Triple mando. And it's kind of... Uh, it's gonna be tough. I don't know how far we're gonna get for that second shot. So I'm solely playing for my four on this hole uh, To start off. I'm gonna go with my star turn uh, Try and get a little bit of flip up out of it. We'll see Elevation, that thing's so understable. And then here, it's like I can't even get it up. Yeah. Yeah, we're like 4,500 feet or 4,000 plus. So I'm throwing my, my beat up emperor here. What weight you throw? That's a 175. It's an eye blend though, it's beat up. <laughs> Mine's an eye blend? Um, I'm gonna go eye blend Emperor 2. Mine doesn't fly like that, so I'm gonna put mine on some Anheuser, have it fade back. Thousand rated caddy. <laughs> For real. Thousand love rated it. caddy indeed. All right. Ten sixty five rated caddy. Better. Mm -hmm. So we're on hole 11. It's a par three, it's 368 feet. I took a breath there because it's a really small fairway and a really tricky like landing zone to approach the green. I personally want to go as straight as I can and then fade out left so that I have some sort of a hole to enter the green. Staying straight is going to be pretty guarded. 
I got my eye blend emperor here. Stability number three in the bag. <laughs> with my leopard three. Try and just go straight down the fairway, see what that gives me, and then I'm gonna go T-bird, like Zoe said, and end more left. Oh, I came out early. I had, I had mayonnaise. You know crazy? Mayonnaise for my sandwich on my fingers. <laughs> I think the, kind of seriously, the funnel and the facing of this tee pad makes me feel like I want to start on the left side of it and run straight up it yeah. instead of starting in the middle like I normally would mm. for a middle shot. Is that, is it like you're saying that's weird? Well, I'm just saying because of the way the tee pad is, it's funneling us to that no gap, little gap. Mm, you're right. So I'm you're gonna right. try to like beat it. I normally wouldn't start over here unless I was throwing a fat hyzer, but mm. I'm just gonna run to the middle. Still good. Alright, yeah. that's the one. Yep. Stability number two in the bag. <laughs> <laughs> Uber. Just kidding. <laughs> Didn't know what else to really do. Wow, look at that stance. and 19 feet we have OB on the right side there's a fence so if you go over there that's not awesome but honestly I think I'm gonna go with a slower speed leopard neutral flight and hit that right side gap on a little bit of hyzer and hopefully just maybe skips a little bit and ends center left gap is a little scary it's pretty tight and if you go left I think it's just danger over there so this is super important to stay in the fairway on this hole Need a controlled shot, so I've got my signature Sphinx here. <laughs> With the kid! <laughs> it came out safely. down to a speed seven. This is actually a T-bird. Um, the Sphinx is a speed nine. Still might be a little fast. I'm gonna do the same, I'm gonna disc down, but I'm gonna disc down to a mid-range, solely just go on placement. Like we talked about, this is a par four, so I'm just gonna throw a 
nice and straight Nexus Invader. Hopefully put myself in good position, just either lay up or maybe give myself a look for a three. As I shake it. All right, well that's a look for four. trouble on this hole. You got to do your homework. Break down where the OB is, where the trouble is, and more importantly, most importantly, where the semi-open landing zones are. So we're on hole 13. It's par 3 and it's only 215 feet. But when you have only 215 feet, you got trouble. Just expect it here at the fort. The OB water is just behind the basket around 10 feet, maybe a little bit plus or minus. And then there's a nice built wall that some people can get lucky and ricochet off of or get stuck behind. You just really have to find your gap. It looks like a, more of a forehand or a lefty friendly line. So I'm gonna try to flip something over most likely. Or I might try a sidearm second. Well, okay, you know what? I'll try it first. I will, I will. It's a sidearm pool. <laughs> I gotta throw like a max width distance driver, Kona Emperor Moon. Oh, you got, old, you got the old one. I know, I got the cool old one. That was a good run. It was. Alright, here we go. Uh, that was good. You just need something more stable. I'm going to go with my C Monty Lone Hal. It's more of a controlled forehand disc for me. If it doesn't get enough skip, I'm going to go with my Super Over Stable Destroyer. Like I'm, I'm actually but able that's to the like one. Yeah, your body get over like there. It was yeah. there. All right, no overthinking this one. Straight to Alan. Catch. Catch. So easy. <laughs> Fourteen, six hundred and fifty-two feet. This is a very long hole. Um, we have to have a lot of placement shots because our drive off the tee, you got to get some distance and end left, in my opinion, for a good shot for your second shot. And then I don't know if we will be reaching it on our second shot. So putting ourselves in position for an open third shot to save our. Four, five. I'm gonna go with my 170 gram uh, Iblend Emperor. Just gonna go straight, this guy's stable, he'll end left. Nope. 
go off the tees to go low under those trees. I didn't do that. Yeah, that low makes it so hard to get distance. Just I blend him for. But it's pretty right. Yeah, if you hit the road. That's okay. Yeah. Well, and to be honest with you, I was afraid I let go of that and get right, and it wasn't as right as I felt like it was. <laughs> I'll, learn. I'll learn. So this is a lot shorter than I want to be for the tournament, but gotta practice just in case I do land here because I did hit that tree several times. I'm gonna lay up to the creek with my AVR X3 to put myself in position for a third shot. tricky shot for me. This is a legacy rival and it's a little more overstable than most of the rivals. Back from my days on the team. Wrong, wrong, uh... Yeah, I do, actually. I'm gonna go... This is a shot you really need to dial in. First, it's an overstable mid range. See if I have the distance, or I'm gonna go with my Star T Bird. hole 15 it's only 315 feet but as you can see it's pretty tight uh v tree gap right in front of us low ceiling all the way lined with trees um down the right and left side player really has to trust their straightest disc um 
and I'm gonna throw faster than I would. I'm gonna throw an Emperor for 315 feet. You definitely don't need all that, but because it's such a low ceiling, it's what I'm choosing. My star sidewinder, it has a little bit of turn, so hopefully it pops up right straight. Oh, it's right there. I'm just out of it. Okay. Here we go. feet it's a downhill shot so you don't want to throw something too glidey because there is danger behind the basket although the views are beautiful the lake is out of bounds and it kind of plays like an island you see that there's some wood down there you have to get past that to be safe so I have a bunch of different discs I'm gonna try some different shots and we do have a little bit of a headwind so I'm gonna start with destroyer I would like to mention, Zoe says there's a hundred dollar bounty for an ace, so. C notes for the first ace. <laughs> Go in the bucket. I don't even know if I can get this there. Yes. No. I thought maybe with like the down slope it would carry, but yeah. that's a lot. Man, this is hard. I don't, I definitely don't know what I want to throw. I'm going to try multiple shots, but for the hundred dollar first try, this is a mid range. This is called the Pathfinder by Thought Space Athletics. Um, it will stable out a little bit, but I'm just going to throw it as hard as I can, just a little bit right of the basket. See how that pans out. It's actually OB. <laughs> Close, I missed my line, but we'll see what the next try brings. All right, I'm gonna try the Star Mako 3. I'm gonna go dead straight at it. Hopefully it doesn't glide into the water. I was just watching the shadow. I didn't I even. I, didn't, I wasn't even watching the dip. So far there. Oh, whoops. Not quite. <laughs> I just want to get in the circle. All right, I'm gonna go completely different. I'm gonna go Heiser and see if I can get there. I don't think this is gonna make it, but it's all I brought.
Yeah, that's my next route. Come on, baby. Be good. In. Six. No. no. Really? No. Grab it, Alan. Use your camera. <laughs> I'd probably go for that one. Yeah, it'll feel good. I want to try the same route, but what would you do different? Higher. Higher. Yep. Okay, so cut off that distance. I could throw this disc over those mountains. Heck yeah. All right. Especially because it's empty. Yeah. <laughs> This is a Discmania link. Ella, 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 Ella. Yep. Ella! It's the Ella Hansen Bagel! Okay, hole 17. It's 490 feet, par four. We have a different tee than the men here as well. You just gotta keep it straight and land straight. It's all about being straight here off the tee and the flight of the disc. I'm going with my flippy emperor. <laughs> all right, here we go. Oh, fell out of my hands. We're getting to the end of our round. I know, it's <laughs> getting tight tight. So he said straight is the name of the game, so I'm gonna go with my sidewinder. Flip, baby. Come on. One more. One more. One more. I feel that one more. I love it. <laughs> I'll take it. <laughs> Gotta get that. Sweet. Yeah. That was my a favorite shot. shot. Yeah. Kona? <laughs> oh, you got through everything. to cross it and then there's OB right and left and then towards the basket it pitches off to like 50 feet 50 foot fairway so I'm just trying to get safe off the tee land in a position to attack it but I don't know what to throw <laughs> <laughs> trust me sidewinder I think that's like the textbook landing okay. spot. Yeah. Sounded trusty to me. <laughs> Old trusty beat up emperor. Ooh. Not 
Yeah. Woo. Yeah. That was pretty. <laughs> That's what I like. Okay, right, I'm gonna go turn. That is. Oh my that goodness, elevation. That is a destroyer. Oh. All right, that's so this is where my tee shot landed. I can't quite see where the out of bounds is. You can see some tiny whiskers that I actually thought was cotton, but uh, I'm just gonna go with my Mako 3, try and land maybe left of that big tree on that corner, and then give myself just an open look at the basket for my Exactly. Okay. I like oh, that. Good. Exactly what you drew up. Uh, I'm gonna take a putter up to the corner where I see the mando pole. Yep. I was like, are oh, you that's... really gonna hit the one tiny tree? I, me too. <laughs> I was like, seriously now? Come on. Beautiful. Oh yeah. Yay, got it? Woohoo! 